How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new Search Party, a game by Lum, who most people would know from The Devil Haunts Me. Just finished playing that on the channel in anticipation of this. As far as I know, they're not actually connected. I just kind of wanted to get a better feel for the types of games that Lum makes. For anyone who's curious who goes looking for this game themselves, it's being published by Combo Puppet, and right now the only way you can download a copy of the game is by pledging $5 to their Patreon. So instead of having like a Steam link down below, I'll have a link to their Patreon page. That's the only way you can access it now, that doesn't mean they won't change that in the future, but just so you guys know. I hear the game is something like 40 minutes long, but that there's multiple endings you can pursue. I don't know how many, but I'm gonna try and uncover all of them if I can. Missing Child. The newspaper is dated October 11th, 1991. Yesterday afternoon, eight-year-old Daniel Harrison went missing. He was last seen heading through Blue Bell Woods, just off Blair Road, at 2.10 p.m., which people who've been following Lum, he is making a game called, it might be called Blair Road, it's Blair something. This supposedly is a, a prequel for that one. Traveling alone, he was taking a shortcut home after school. Police collaborated with the community and conducted a search party for Daniel at 5 p.m. At 5.35 p.m., Daniel's sister, 16-year-old Claire Harrison, also went missing for several hours. She was accompanied by her mother, Cynthia, 39, and police officer Brendan Smith, 37, when she wandered off into the woods on her own. Claire what? The rest is missing. Oh yeah, you can see that the newspaper clipping is torn up there. Outside. Oh, it looks like we have the, uh, I mean, the full art style, the trees and everything, doesn't match The Devil Haunts Me, but the way that the characters kind of move their heads and the way it's pixel animated but not actually, uh, pixel art but not animated like a pixel game is very similar to Lum's other work. Mom? Mom! Mom! How did I get lost? I didn't think this forest was that big. Hello, anyone? Pause the game. Okay, that's, yeah, that's easy. It's very hard to fast forward the text without accidentally closing the text like that, and so I, I had to be very careful with that during the opening. I'll try and keep that in mind throughout the game so we're not missing dialogue. Is that a house up ahead? Maybe Daniel is inside. You can sprint in case things get a little too hairy. Hairy son! I'm terrible. Oh, you can kind of look ahead. That's nerve wracking because it makes me think that, uh, like, looking ahead and understanding what's waiting for you is going to be continually required, and that makes sense now why the game feels so tightly zoomed in on the character there, is because it wants you to have to search ahead on your own like that. I think I can break this crate with something. We just go around the house? Okay, car, axe. There's, are these just like rocks on the ground? Yeah, there's multiple of them. There's like white something or other on the ground. It's just flowers. It's waking me out a little bit. I'm a little on edge here. Old axe, three out of eight. I guess it has a limited number of uses. It's locked and it needs a car key, or it's locked and the key is like visibly inside of the car. There's a garden out back. I might look around out back here first before I go bursting in the front door, smashing up that crate. Okay, it gets real foggy up there. It actually reset me. Huh. So there's a limit to how far you can go wandering. I kind of just want to quickly look on the other side of the house here. Before, same same as before, I just don't know if I want to go straight for hacking apart that crate. I need some bolt cutters. Okay, so when it's locked, it's telling you what the item is that's required. The car keys are required to access the car. Go full psycho smashing our way into there. Yeah, that was two out of the eight uses for that. So we have a limited number of uses of, of the axe here, which means I can't 
or won't just be swinging it around kind of willy-nilly. There's going to be very intended uses for it. I'm locked in. Shit. <laughs> what, can we just axe our way back out again? Is it a two-way axe? This is locked as well. Everything is locked. All of the doors. I guess that's by definition of being locked in. Every possible avenue is locked. What? The cellar is like chained shut? Bolt cutters again. Oh, I can actively close doors. Games that let you close doors wig me out, because that means that there's a potential that something will be trying to come through that door eventually. So I don't really like that prospect too much. What would otherwise be like a very nice thing? I, I got a coin. Just like a, like, you would be mad at your kid for doodling on the wall, but at least they're drawing like a happy face. They're not drawing like disturbing imagery. But this kid managed to draw a happy face and draw disturbing imagery. Mm, and then they drew like nine happy faces and they made them extra large and like... Yeah, I... The, the tone of this game is much m more difficult for me to handle than, than the devil game. I feel really safe in this room. I'm happy for you. I don't feel safe anywhere in this entire house. I think I can probably just ditch the key then. Why is there's like a toilet and a tub and a, a storage box? And who keeps their save panel in the bathroom? What a strange place to choose to put that. I like to keep mine in my bedroom. Right under, right under the pillow. Hmm. Locked from the other side. See, this is why I didn't want to ditch the axe immediately. I assumed there'd be like one more spot to use it. But now we're totally axeless. So I am I am curious if there if maybe I should have conserved it. Yeah, see, there's other things that need that are in need of a good axing. There's a lot of things actually. And more chain shut doors. What the shit is going on in this game? There's a lot of things that are locked with just the house key. As soon as I find the house key, I'll be in uh, much better shape. I thought I'd be able to take the candle with me. More money, more crates. That one actually has pupils and nostrils. Those sorts of things aren't present on these other happy faces. Maybe it was a different artist. Maybe it was his experimental phase. He was trying to branch out into new territories with his art. Missing person poster. This one's from July 13th, 89, so about a year and a half prior. They didn't finish that one. Half-finished drawings are no good. This world isn't so happy. This world ain't so happy. Jesus. A missing person poster. September 23rd, 1986. So almost five years sooner than current. And a, a few years before the other one we saw. They don't like that this person's collecting these. Uh, that was from 1990. So only about a year. Oh, God. Now the game is actually saving for me? Oh, God. Jeez, is the, the screen? The screen starts tilting as you enter this room. It's like adding this like insanity thing. Like, whoa. I, maybe that was. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm crazy. If it did, it was very subtle. And I imagine the further down of the room I'm going to go, the more it's going to happen. A bunch of missing persons posters. Yeah, there it is. There it's starting to do the tilt. Is this like your brother's headless body or some shit? Oh, I hope it's not your brother. Daniel, this is so horrible. I feel, I feel sick. I need to get out of here. I'm so sorry, Daniel. Yeah, this is fucked up. But this also more or less confirms that we're probably gonna have to actually like run and hide from things and stuff. Oh man, the Oh god! Ah! Crazy sights murderer! Jesus Christ! 
run, run, run faster. You gotta get, you gotta be faster than this. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that safe room is much too far away. There was, there was a, uh, a attic key. No, I don't have, I don't have an attic key. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, it doesn't instantly kill you. Jesus, I don't know if he's gonna come following us down that or not. Ah, okay. Yeah, I knew. I was becoming very suspicious that we were gonna get chased around. Oh shit! Can't actually access that. But another safe room. Hmm. Okay. Hey, we could defend ourselves a little bit with this. Just get, just practicing my stabbing. Uh, cool. You can. I, I was curious if it would play out like this. That there would be multiple storage boxes, all of which could be accessed. Healing gauze. Nice. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it in case I, I happen to get more injured. Seems like a good idea to, to unlock things. But I'm holding the wrong button. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him good. Holy shit. That worked better than I thought it would. Well, don't let him get back up. Just keep the stabs going. <laughs> that... I guess, uh, I guess stabbing is a temporary solution. He can, he, uh, can eventually survive a stabbing. Oh, Jesus! His reach is so long with that thing. Even when I'm, come on, man, why did he follow me so effectively this particular time? Oh, try and get the healing gauze going. Oh, nuts. Hey! I could bait him into breaking boxes for me, apparently, but uh, I don't think that's going to do a ton of good. Oh, Jesus, he attacked me as I was healing, so that was totally worthless. Oh, and it used up both of them. Well, nuts. I probably might as well just die this time again. I want you to break this for me. Just give me access to this, and then I'll figure something out. Ooh, there's tons of money in that one. That one just has money, too. How do I sneak past him? He, that thing is totally just chilling, like, right there. Oh, he's activated. Alright, well, I'll wait for him to come so I can dance around the table, maybe? Oh, nice. He's actually... He's actually leaving. Okay, good thing my range of viewing is as large as it is. Going between floors, though, I don't really... No oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to avoid this bastard? She said she felt safe in that one room. Do I just have to book it back to the bathroom like every damn time this thing uh, catches up to me? Oh, come the hell on, man. Oh, yeah, he does. He, he will leave. He will leave when you get up to this room, so... I'll throw down a save there so I stop loading up in a, a dangerous part of the house. So this is a new area. I got a cleaver over there. Oh, I didn't even get to manage to grab the knife this time. Back in 84. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I think you're looking at like a fraction of a murder scene. There's a lot of pictures here. Most of them are either blank or really out of focus. Squish my guts. I don't wanna. And why would you want me to? Weird fetish you got there, man. Ooh, can this break crates? Okay. The cleaver is going to be my main solution for crate access. That statue wigged me out for a second. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't pop into rooms very much. What's with these holes in the ground? Thought they were going to crack or break or something. Ah, I can totally, I'm going to push it on to the cracks in the floor, and it's going to break through, or something. Huh. I felt very confident that that's how that was going to work. That must serve some purpose. I saw it. 84. Oh, is that just someone's, like, teeth? Like, super, super zoomed into a smile? That's weird as hell. This, there must be something uh, on the floor below this now. 
that I, I just covered some sort of holes or something. Jesus Christ, I didn't... When did you get there, dude? That's awful. <laughs> he was just standing there waiting. Oh, I wonder if it spawned him there. Ugh, just... God damn it. You're supposed to d dick off now, man. You can't just stand around there waiting for me. No camping. Oh, maybe it's because I had the door open. First floor. I felt like somewhere, ah, oh, it's somewhere on this side. I think is approximately where that would have lined up, of where I pushed that statue or whatever. Oh, god damn it! Hmm. He seems to be having some sort of issues up there. Maybe that makes me feel much safer. I guess he actually can't handle doors, so I kind of need to bait him away from there. Oh, that was a house key one. I, I didn't have access to that before. God damn you. Oh shit, okay, I managed to get an outside. Oh god, is that thing gonna follow me outside? Yup. I did not mean to lead him out here. Ooh, there's a med kit over there. I'll keep that in mind. Oh god damn, his reach. Is this a good thing that I've led him outside? Oh, he? I think he just opened that door. I think he thought that's where I was going. Ooh, inventory full. Can't quite grab the shovel. Ah. Uh, did he bail? Is this another, like, safe room for me? Okay. More med kits. Uh, I, I gotta swap some stuff out here. Why does it automatically use the entirety of the healing gauze? I don't really understand how that works. Oh, there's a hole in this wall. What the fuck was that? Oh, give me coins. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. You could have coins. I thought he was coming at me. Oh, my max health was raised. Holy shit. I was wondering what the hell the purpose of coins was going to be in this game. It didn't really seem like the sort of game where something like that would matter. Jesus. That's... He just lives in this weird little back part of this shed, eh? That fucked me up. <laughs> I was so ill-prepared for that. I picked up the shovel strictly so I can, like, put it in storage. Uh, you can't, you can't just, like, break open the lock or whatever. But then, by doing this, I'll have access to it, like, in other places in the house. So that's, that's my main desire there. I guess I gotta go back into the house. Where is he? Oh, he's here. He's super here. God damn it. No, don't close it, you fool. You'll trap yourself. Just gotta make it to the bathroom again. Get out of here, man. I don't walk around and open up all the doors in your house. I let you live your life, more or less. Only occasional stabbings. This moved back. I wonder if I could use the shovel. Maybe I can break that with the shovel. That's my my main theory right now. I'm so terrified that he's gonna come from this direction. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking would happen if I if I came back that way. I like this little arrangement we have, though, where you respect my personal space. He always knocks first. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to disturb me too directly. Doesn't want to inconvenience me too badly. So I appreciate uh, the boundaries that we've been able to set in this house. Nothing. I completely don't understand what the the purpose of that is. I guess the shovel could literally just be used as another weapon slash like box opening implement oh i'm gonna unlock a couple things that i haven't been able to gain access to on this particular run god damn it god damn it god damn it god damn it oh he's appears to be stuck in that case i will take a second to think through a plan oh shit he got through <laughs> that plan sucked when he goes downstairs, I'm immediately booking it upstairs. Oh, maybe I can finally get into that one room where he's definitely definitely cornered me 
before where I tried to like bait him into breaking boxes for me, you know? Yeah, so I, I would appreciate a second to examine here. Billy! One of the missing children, presumably. I'm sorry. Oh. Cleaver! Double down on cleavers. Can never have enough, really. It wants more. Ooh. It's kind of... Hmm. I mean, like, it's not just a psychopath. Like, it is an it. It is some sort of, like, monster or something. And that kind of creates this little bit of, like, disassociation in this game. It's still terrifying and has made me jump numerous times. But it's like... It doesn't have that upsetting quality, the disturbing, upsetting quality of being like, this is just a, a sick, sick, sick person who's doing this. It is, like, removed in some degree, you know what I mean? I can't seem to find more keys. I kind of want to cheese it outside again, because I have enough coins to at least get one more health upgrade, possibly a second. Can I break into this? No. Ooh, I can do it twice more even. Oh, extra space. Now he wants 10 though. Okay though, I can dig. I, I do appreciate the upgrades. That is making my life a lot easier. I'm not going to be able to add like 10 space. Well, I, I also doubt there's like whatever, 30 things that you can actually find in this game. Oh, there's a coin hidden behind that tree. I didn't think you would come back outside. I thought you loved indoors way too much and you would just stay there. Oh, I can't leave out this way, can I? I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> I wanted to go back out the, the front entrance and see if there was anything there I could access that would be useful to me. I feel like I've been to many corners of the house and done lots of things and one of the only things left would be to push that stupid statue into the busted up looking part of the floor and so I'm very suspicious that maybe I just didn't push it far enough before you gotta push harder never give up never surrender so if I just keep going yeah that's so dumb I can't believe I screwed that up Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's like locked or something, right? Add it key. That's good. That's new for me. Uh, is the fire extinguisher something I can pick up? It is. <laughs> I literally wanted to bash him so I could gain access to this new, uh, new item. Which is just a fire extinguisher. I don't think it's, uh, I think it's just another blunt object to, to swing around and bash things with. But I do like that I was able to get one quick chop. Uh, use up that cleaver and just kind of show that dick who's boss the F extinguisher for some reason they shorthanded the fire and not the extinguisher that F gets aligned to itself and then extinguisher in like a noticeably smaller font <laughs> okay but hopefully this thing's gone I can gun it for the attic uh, no bolt cutters yet no Seemingly, Jesus, seemingly no way to get into, like, the the basement cellar thing in the, the garage there. Into the attic. I, I, would like, I would like to close that behind me. Oh, good. Face right in the middle, coin eye, police officer's outfit. Yeah, police uniform, bolt cutters. Is this this guy, this creature, was a policeman at one point? Oh, he's coming. Damn you. Ah! <laughs> it sucks. I guess I should try and, like, fend him off or something. Uh, I accidentally got lured back into this room. Did not mean to do that. Oh, I'm glad that his aim isn't all that good. I forget every... What the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit! I was gonna say I forget everything that needed uh, to be bolt cuttered. Um, uh, don't get near that guy, I guess. Jesus Christ! Oh God! And the thing's coming back after me again now too. There's a there's the fence just to the bottom right here, and and somewhere on the first floor was a cellar. 
And there's a door on like the second or third floor, I think second. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect a new monster to suddenly appear like that. That was terrifying. Hmm. I can, I, uh, this is like one ending or something maybe. Is that you just like get back outside the house, get out the front door and just be on your way, right? We're good? We never found car keys. That's probably a step that I'm missing. Yeah, shit, I still can't actually take the car. What if I just wander off into nothing, though? No, the fog kicks in and it, it just teleports you back to the, the one spot. The front door just is gone, though, hey? I would suggest maybe we just flee on foot. That we don't worry about it too much. Just get out of here. I'm still a few coins shy. Can I just come, like, ride this out in there with you, dude? You seem okay. You seem pretty chill. I mean, much chiller than this thing. Oh, God, he tries to bite you using his entire body. It's awful. Oh, God, that thing's down there. Oh, wait, I have two spots where I can go try and do some quick bolt cutting. Oh, do you know what? The other one might be on, I think, a floor too high already for that. But, no, maybe it is both on this floor. No, there's just the door here. Which, like, what are they keeping in here, right? Like, why, why lock it up? Oh, there's a, there's a cage. There's another key. Those are probably the car keys, I would guess. Is that just a picture of the maniac or whatever? I was scared something was gonna come jumping out of the... Oh, come on, man! Damn it, damn it, I'm trying to use this. Oh man, that was, it went like slow-mo for a second and gave me the, the tiniest opportunity to, to still get away there. Car key, yep. Yeah. It's fine, I can, I can afford to get bashed once. Suck it! <laughs> I just like closing the door on this fool. Try and go wide around this thing. No, it's hard. It's hard. He's dead center in the room. His his radius or whatever is quite large. Hmm. There's a coin right there. What do you know? I wonder where... There's clearly at least one more somewhere in this game. Because the, the guy was asking for ten coins. And then he would give whatever, like, the final upgrade is or whatever. Maybe he just turns me into some invulnerable monster myself. And then I can use those superpowers to beat up the monster who is actively chasing me. Please start. Please, like, go. Why are you just stopping right there? Oh, my goodness. I don't like that tension. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I guess we found out what happened. To Daniel and like everyone else Blair Road <sighs> I drove out of the woods and eventually made it to Blair Road but something seemed off I drove on that road for hours without seeing another car building or person it didn't make any sense and I eventually ran out of gas what oh my god I can't use the like look around function anymore I don't know what direction to go. I'm like petrified of what is going on. I, I, I do still have items. But I, this is only as far ahead of me as I, I get to look. I hate that. The effect they did with like the leaves on the trees is, is really effective with like the light penetrating through. It just looks really well done. <sighs> what the fuck is that? Oh, that's the... Oh, God. Okay, okay, I'm not dead. I guess I am. <laughs> but that was the the one picture that we saw that was just, like, lips and teeth or whatever. I thought the second that thing popped up, it was over, so I didn't even try to, like, run or anything. Ending C. No escape. We can do better. We can attempt a real escape. Game by Lum. Uber prawn. 
So this thing's gonna jump back out at me again, and I'm gonna try to fight it off. Come on, how far do you have to go before you, like, summon it or whatever? Or is this a time thing and I just happen to be standing in the worst spot? Mm -hmm. Some sort of s ominous sounds. Shit, there it is, there it is, there it is. No, 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 no. Oh, come on! What? Was I supposed to do something with its sparkling tooth? I'm gonna go ahead and guess one of the endings isn't going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the the giant awful floating mouse monster. We can we can barely do anything about the the one that's stalking us around this house here. Uh, we're probably not suddenly going to be these crazy monster hunters that are able to kill this goddamn floating hellish hell beast. Oh god, there's like broken up dolls down here and things. Ah, I can have my full ten coins. Oh god. Oh, there's so much shit down here. A lot of things to break, a lot of just weirdness overall. Oh, come on, I want to read the note. I want to know what the note says. Oh, basement key. That is something I do not have. Oh god, there's so many damn dolls. There's another, another kind of knife. Oh shit. I am much more injured than I thought. That was your chance. Use your gauze. I kind of ran the hell out of there because I should have enough coins now. I also went and got the one on the other side of the bolted fence there. More, more health. Damn. Okay. I thought it would be may maybe something more useful. Not that that isn't just great to have and all that. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. I think I'm going to take the shovel into the basement with me. Uh, because there's so many things down there to break, seemingly. I bet it's like something in the basement that lets you gain access to that. Okay, we got to be quick down here. No cautious stepping around or anything. Just try and see as much as you can. Take things in, see what there is to discover. Ah, I feel like maybe I missed stuff off in this corner, locked from the other side. Yeah, there's clearly another room over that way. Oh, god damn it, he's in here. I can't, like, hide in cupboards or anything. I wish I could. Oh, nice, he might leave again. Haha! <laughs> okay, I have a slight window here to explore slightly more. Break down this wall. I'm glad they stuck a storage thing down here, like, in case you didn't bring a shovel with you or what have you. Oh, shit. I, that looked like just another wall for a second. Uh, I don't like those statues, because I think they become the things that, like, will open up their bodies and jump at you. What is up with that one? Why is there a head off of a body like that? What's your guys' deal? Locked? It need it needs a head. Okay. And this goes up to Oh <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's just locked from the other side for that one as well. It wasn't uh, it doesn't need its own weird special access or anything. Oh, what the shit is going on? Okay, I thought maybe I could break these. Uh, some of them are the danger things. Basement key. Fuck you! <laughs> Do I need to kill these to get heads? I'm gonna try. Try to, like, bait this thing along. Oh god, I don't want to fight two of them at once, though. Decapitating you seems like my best bet. Oh, it's still... It just knocks it over, same as, like... Same as the other time. I attacked the main thing. Oh no, he is dead. He is dead. He didn't come back. Give me your damn head. You don't need it anymore. Oh, he had a glowing tooth too. I don't know why that's a particular thing in this game. <sighs> yeah, shit, I guess I heal up. Grab this key. And try to do something with it. Oh, what? There's like a billion dead Daniels. 
What the fuck? I thought this was gonna be not a new area. This, this, this can't be real. I tend to agree. Where are we pushing this to? Are any of you guys the type that will attack me? They aren't even. What the fuck is going on? A uh, big kind of axe. Oh, okay. The big axe will be for decapitating things, but I like... I can't swap out inventory items. They've rearranged. Oh, what the fuck? I'm getting attacked by... Daniels now? Jesus Christ. Oh! No, get the hell out of here. They don't like spooky things rearranging themselves like that. Is it just gonna be full of a million of these again? Ah, oh, it's weird to suddenly be chased by something else. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not good, because if I unlock it from the other side like that... Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't pause, it doesn't pause. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm boned! You... Jerks! I hate you! You ruined my day! Oh my god, I gotta get the fuck out of there! Where were the different doors that the basement key could get used on? Ah, shit, I don't remember. Okay, the, the weird Daniel corpse is actually dead. He did not get back up. This is the only unkillable thing as far as I can tell. Right, 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 here was the other basement. Door. Oh, he doesn't follow into these sections. What the fuck is going on? Do I have to push all of you onto these? That's a lot of statues to push around. Oh, but multiple... You can, you can cover, like, multiple buttons. There we go. That's gonna save some time. Oh! That generated a head. How many buttons need to be depressed? to get like a maximum number of heads. I would like two if you guys have them to spare. My inventory's still full. Oh, there's a storage thing here. Okay. Here's one of your guys' heads. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I kind of got forced to run around quite a bit there, so I don't know if I really had the full opportunity to like puzzle anything out. Are some of you guys, like, um, covering something that needs to be uncovered? Pushing things around this room does not seem to get me anywhere. <sighs> this god-awful room, though. What about this one, where you guys, like, rearranged yourselves? Examine. The statues formed a weird pattern. Oh! <laughs> this is the pattern I was recreating, but I, uh, I just kind of cheated that system a little bit by just sticking them all on top of each other like that. Oh, good, an F-axe. Just, just like before. Just like, for whatever reason, they won't write out the word fire ever. Because maybe it's a fireman's extinguisher or firefighter's axe or extinguisher or something like that, you know? Uh, like, I get the feeling... I'm supposed to decapitate something for its head. Did I go down this little hallway? Nope. Nope, this is new. Billion dead bodies here. Oh my god. What the fuck is up with- what is wrong with this game? Oh, there's another place where a head might spawn. Oh, maybe not. See, that looks terrible. Ah, I see you. You're what I want. But... Oh god, why are you so fast with that axe, da or knife, Daniel? Shit, son. Oh, he's gonna murder his sister. Why is he so good at that? Fuck you. Maybe I should do those charged up attacks. Wait for him to come to me and then swing. That's way more effective. <laughs> oh, but he did a lot of damage. Uh, I wish I had a, a med kit. 
on hand. Do you know what? There's some, like, right here. If I just run out into this other area. What the fuck? I didn't think you were allowed to be in this area. He didn't come chase me. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, what is that in there? There's like an animal's head or some shit. Some fucking shit. Something's hair. I don't know. I don't know what any of this is. I hate it, though. It's disgusting. Jesus, I'm sick of bashing these headless corpses around. Oh, here's one that looks like it has a head still on. Daniel? He's, like, responding? Maybe not verbally? Jesus. Uh... I don't know what this is. It looks like hair. It's disgusting. And awful. Okay, there's the other head. I guess. Uh, I should take a med kit. Oh, uh, I don't have one in here anymore. Cool. I'm ditching the cleaver. No, I'm ditching the basement key. Um, because I need this head. And if this goes where I think it does, yeah, yeah, there's a med kit literally right there. And that might not even be the only one. Yeah, there's that one there too. So I'm going to go ahead and claim that one while I'm at it. It seemed like this game had a really, like, excessive amount of, of med kits. Like, I didn't even need anywhere close to this number. And then... Uh, and then it just kept, things kept killing me. Head two. <sighs> Better bust out a weapon. <laughs> uh, oh god, it's this thing again, are you kidding me? Uh, this thing's gonna follow me no matter where I go or what I do. Jesus, I hate it. Oh, we're getting clogged up. No, 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 no. Ah! I thought maybe, like, I was supposed to die no matter what at that point or something. Maybe that's still the case. Maybe maybe this is meant to be that you can't actually escape. Okay, I'm backing off for a second. God, like, the sound design for this thing is ridiculous. I think maybe I'm not supposed to escape this again. That, like, I'm supposed to endlessly push my way through shit. And eventually, it'll just catch up to me. Uh, it's going decently well. No, 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 no. Uh, oh god, it's a fucking labyrinth, though. Holy shit, am I accessing, like, a new area or something? Oh, I'm toast, I'm toast. Uh, uh, I feel like I've maybe... Not specific... I haven't... Oh god, it's not a one-shot. I haven't specifically been to this area before, but, like... I feel like it's just leading me around in, like, pretty well circles. Use your med kit, goddammit. Fuck. Come on, keep going. Don't let it end like this. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't have a blue key. Where was I supposed to get a blue key? Do I have to go back in there again? It's zooming out slowly. Is that a good thing? I can't go back down. So there's got to be a blue key here somewhere, right? <sighs> or maybe this is just the lead into like the sequel of this. Shit. I wonder if there was a blue key down there. I would have very much liked to have been allowed to go back down again and, and like try and find it if that was the case. It was so long since I last saved. Oh my god. Is that an ending? Like... What? <laughs> Lost in the woods. We still don't even have ending A. Is ending A... You, you get away successfully in some way? Shh. I'm going on a coin hunt. I'm gonna find every damn coin in this game to give to the weird coin hand guy. I can't believe this weird thing never sprang to life. Or I don't think anything happened with that guy in that cell either. Like, it just seemed so likely 
that in some way one of those two things the cage that was open or the little monster boy next to it or like the uh the body of the doll next to the body of the guy or whatever like that none of these cages ever sprang to life and messed with me it seemed like the probability of that happening was so ridiculously high oh geez i forgot there's another one there <laughs> take the body he doesn't want it i hate that hair never figured that out scissors oh it wasn't just a knife can i scissor the weird thing that looks like hair no i think it's just a typical weapon again trying to make sure i'm coming back up and saving frequently along this process because there's quite a bit of individual things that need to be done oh i'm also back up to 10 coins Oh okay, yeah, we can see what the next step of our like rewards from that guy up top is. And we have both the heads delivered for when that comes time. What you got for me, dude? Oh. Huh. Two two coins. He only needs two coins now? That must be like a very precise those are the last coins in the game can the sickle be used to kill the guy who wields the sickle or something like that maybe i guess now i have to hunt every possible little millimeter of this game do you know what i'm i'm done with that okay nope <laughs> i was gonna kill i was gonna kill the jumping things i i had enough of it i didn't want to see him anymore didn't want him jumping out at me and trying to ruin my day like that Ah, <sighs> maybe I'll get him next time. Squish my guts. Such a weird, weird thing to have written on the wall. <laughs> Suck it. There, now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Apparently I like to tell dangerous monsters to suck it. I feel like I've done it numerous times already today. Okay, it took going <laughs> everywhere top to bottom in this stupid place. But I got the last two coins here that I was robbed of from before. This has got to be significant, right? Just, there we go. Blue key. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have it so you have to hunt for every single key in the entire game unless it mattered like that. Okay, pushed past the crazy chomping, biting thing again. I tried to look for more, but I, I don't think there was. You just either make it through or you don't, essentially. Question, question marks. Hey, is this Daniel? Oh, sis, he can actually respond this time. Someday, all of this pain will end. Daniel, what are you talking about? I love you, sis. Daniel, what's going on? Is he like talking to us from beyond the grave, giving us closure? I mean, like, that's a very ominous statement to make, but I think he's probably trying to, like, uh, reach out to his sister and be like, hey, don't worry about me, like, uh, things aren't so bad on, on yonder side of, of all of this, you know? That's, so that's gonna be ending A, right? If that's ending D, then I have no idea, <laughs> I have no idea what I missed. I don't know, I don't know where else to go or what else to do. Bunch of question marks. It's the rest of the newspaper. Oh, Claire was found by her mother several hours later at 709, just outside of Bluebell Woods. Claire appeared to be in shock. She claimed she had found her brother's body in a strange house in the woods. During the search party, no house was discovered. There are also no records of a house being located within Bluebell Woods. Ugh. I mean, obviously she was experiencing some sort of delusions or whatever when she thought she saw 100 of her brother's dead bodies and stuff and, like, you know, monsters and all that. And the weird biting thing from the sky, but, like, I didn't think it would go so far that there, like, isn't even a house at all. That's, like, a, a step further than I thought. The search party concluded later that evening at 8.30. Nothing substantial was discovered. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Daniel Harrison, please contact the police immediately. That's the end of the article. You went missing nine years ago to this day. I don't think there's been a single day since where I haven't thought of you. Mom and I miss you so much. When will this pain end, Daniel? Oh. She's, like, thinking back to the quote from her dead brother, or at the very least missing brother, that she thinks she found, but everyone else says that she didn't. 
and she's like hanging on to this thing that he told her in that horrible moment what it's really quite horrible and quite twisted and a lot of unanswered questions and what was with the police uniform in in that awful house that's like that's a weird whole other thing that's going on there that was never really hinted at or addressed any further than that as far as i could tell ending a goodbye daniel at least she had the closure of saying goodbye like that's something oh poor girl poor daniel poor family and this is supposedly a prequel to another game that lum is has been working on for a while so hopefully we could follow that up and actually answer some of those questions i'll be curious about that thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching uh i'll have a link to lum's twitter while i'm at it or, or something like that some other means of following this seeing as i don't have a direct steam link that would be extra convenient so hopefully something like that for people who are curious about like more games from this guy which i definitely am and more potential installments in this what is now a series i suppose in case you want to kind of track that sort of stuff so i'll have a link to that down below alongside puppet combos uh patreon so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon